Today we're on site here at the uh, Bow Bank Net Zero project doing our basement slab uh, prep here. So uh, what we have here is a uh, first layer of 10 mil poly and that goes right on top of our drainage rock there. And then we have a layer of insulation, uh, four inch EPS that goes underneath the entire slab and it's completely continuous. So the reason why we chose these two products here, the 10 mil poly, great air barrier and it's very thick and durable so it doesn't get punctured by the drainage rock. We also have high performance SIGA tape to tape all the seams together to make a really tight air barrier underneath our slab there. And then we're bringing that poly right up the wall and uh, we tape that right to the foundation there. The uh, adhesives that's used on that, the, the SIGA tape is a butyl based tape and uh, it bonds a lot better than the tuck tape will. Not only is that great for energy efficiency, but that's also great for radon mitigation as well. Okay, so what we got here is we have a four inch uh, type two EPS foam. Uh, great for under slab insulation here. Uh, this gives you about an R16 value uh, and that's continuous through your entire basement slab. Um, R16, um, might not sound as much like as much insulation as uh, say our uh, basement walls or above grade foundation um, But you have to understand that R16 is a great insulation property for or a great insulation value for your basement slab considering Underneath your basement slab never gets colder than uh, four degrees. It's not as though we're insulating up against a minus 16 So this is a uh, four inch EPS uh, R16 value and then you can see that our concrete goes right on top of this and so the concrete touches nothing but foam so it, the, the basement slab just sits in a tub of foam and it's very well thermally broken that way. One other consideration that uh, we've done here with our assembly that is a little bit different than what is uh, typically done is that we have actually put our uh, air barrier layer, uh, the 10 mil poly, underneath the foam. Uh, we've done this so that we can come in here and do a really good job of our air barrier, protect it with the foam, and then when we come in here with our rebar and lay our rebar down, that, that air barrier is very well protected and I don't have to worry about the rebar uh, puncturing our air barrier. Our under slab detail here uh, is extremely simple. We just have the 10 mil poly, we have the 4 inches of EPS. Uh, but we want to keep it simple. When it comes to high performance homes, uh, the, the simpler it is, the more achievable it is to get good results. If you missed our previous video uh, on the ICF uh, wall system, uh, click the link. Uh, if not, stay tuned for the next one on our high performance above grade wall system.